believe it or not, a lot of medical conditions have skin manifestations. So you may be pre-diabetic and not even know it, but when we look at you and we do a skin exam on you, there can be subtle findings that are concerning that might make us say, hey, make sure you reach out to your primary care doctor. This is what I'm seeing. Hi, skin friend. If you are tuning in on the day that this episode is released, it is January 1st, 2024. While I have to pinch myself, I cannot believe another year has flown by. And just saying 2024 sounds so weird and bizarre to me. I just can't believe it. But yet, here we are. The holidays are behind us. Hopefully, you had an amazing holiday, whatever you celebrate. My December is always really crazy. Well, honestly, between Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, it is a lot going on in my household. And while I used to find January to be a bit of a letdown when I was younger, I felt like, oh man, there's nothing fun to look forward to. The holidays, the parties, the lights, the gifts, they're all gone. And I just felt like the days were really long. It was cold. It was dark. And I really didn't enjoy January. Now, as an adult, I think January is one of my favorite months because I need this month to reset after the busyness of the fall, the start of school, And then holidays like Halloween, Thanksgiving, birthdays, and Christmas are really big in my household. So January is this welcome reprieve for me nowadays. It's still wintertime. It's still dark and cold. And I have that sort of hibernate feeling. But while I am hibernating and laying low and taking it easy, I am also strategizing. I'm planning, I'm goal setting, and I'm looking ahead to this new year, new possibilities, new challenges, and what I want to accomplish. I've really gotten into goal setting and putting it down, pen to paper, telling people to really hold myself accountable. And now you may be listening and thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to have some goals too. But the problem with many of these New Year's resolutions that we create is that we don't accomplish them and we have great intentions in the beginning and we may even really strive to hit those goals for the first few weeks in January, but somehow it just fizzles out in February or back to our old selves and we haven't accomplished or we're not even trying to accomplish what we originally set out to do in January. And it can be disheartening and frustrating and discouraging. And I have been there. I definitely don't reach and hit all my goals for sure. But I am really, really trying to be more intentional about it. I'm also trying to goal set more by the quarter instead of the whole year. I feel like I can set more attainable goals that way. I'm checking in on a more regular basis to make sure that I'm really on the right track to hit those goals. Now, you may be thinking, why are you talking about goal setting? You're a dermatologist. This is a skin-focused podcast. You are absolutely right. But you may be listening thinking you have some skin goals for 2024. Maybe your skin health just isn't where you want it to be. Maybe you're frustrated when you look in the mirror at what you see looking back at you. Maybe you've got a chronic skin condition that is just not under control, or you've got acne that's flaring and it's embarrassing and you're frustrated by it and you just can't seem to get it to calm down and to go away. So if you are having any of these struggles and frustrations, then you are going to want to tune in to this week's episode because I am talking all about how to create an impactful 
skincare goal for 2024. So if you are serious about getting seriously healthy skin, and I hope you are because that is such an important goal, really keeping your whole body healthy is critical. And of course, along with that, that will also help your skin. But if you are really serious about having really amazing skin, you're tired of the frustration of buying a lot of stuff, it's not working, now you've wasted time, you've wasted money, plus you're just overwhelmed by everything out there, I hear you and I want to give you some really good advice and something that is really going to help you out. So my number one tip for you, if you want to get serious about your skin in 2024, is to make an appointment with a board certified dermatologist. We are the experts in skin. It is what we study for a decade practically of our lives. Just like you would see a cardiologist for your heart or a massage therapist to help with your muscles feeling tight, or a hairdresser for a haircut, or a neurologist for your brain. You want to see the expert for skin if you're having skin concerns or skin issues, and that is a dermatologist. Now, the problem is there are a lot of people giving skin advice and putting themselves out there as if they are true skin experts who really aren't and they don't have the training. And it can get really confusing and overwhelming and it can be misleading and it's frustrating for patients. So my number one tip to find a board certified dermatologist in your area is to go to the American Academy of Dermatology's website, aad.org forward slash find hyphen a hyphen derm. This URL, when you type it in, you type in your zip code, or if you know the doctor's name, you can type that in and it will tell you where there are board certified dermatologists in your area. And you can do this throughout the US. And if you're listening from another country, I'm sure there's a dermatology medical board in your area that does something similar. But this is probably the easiest, fastest way to find a dermatologist, a true board certified dermatologist near you and in your area. Now, of course, you can ask friends, you can ask family, you can ask Dr. Google and try to find best dermatologist in your area. But just know that this is not necessarily going to pull up board certified dermatologists. It may pull up people who are doing skin related things. But if you truly want to find a board certified dermatologist, this is the best way to go about it. Or if you have a name or recommendation from someone, of course, go to their website, do your due diligence and make sure that they are a true skin expert. Now, why do I make such a big deal about this? It's because I see people time and time again, wasting time, wasting money, seeing people who don't really know what they're treating and they are not getting the results that they want. And it is super, super frustrating. And then they finally do see someone like a dermatologist and it's like a light bulb went off and and now things fall into place. And I'm not saying that every skin condition is just magically going to resolve when you see a dermatologist, but at least it can cut out a lot of the trial and error. Now, not every dermatologist is going to necessarily be the right fit for you, however. So what I would recommend is that you write out your top five to 10 skin concerns and also what your goals are. I did a previous episode talking about what kind of skincare habits you really need. And it's going to vary person to person because your skin habits are based upon your skin needs and your skin goals. So if you have a skin condition, maybe eczema, psoriasis, acne, rosacea, something like that, or skin cancers, your skin needs are going to look different from someone who doesn't have those conditions. You then need to pair that with what are your skincare goals? Are you someone who wants to just do the bare minimum? Are you someone who really doesn't focus on what their appearance looks like? Or are you someone who is really proactive with 
anti-aging or pro-aging or someone who really wants to maximize aesthetic procedures. So everyone's different and you have to pair your needs with your goals and that's how you're going to get your habits. So jot out your top five to 10 skincare concerns and that's going to be a mix of some of the issues that your skin has that you struggle with. And then also write down what are some of your goals for 2024 with your skin. And you also want to make a note of how involved do you want this to be? Are you someone who wants to keep it super, super simple, minimal amount of money, minimal effort? That's going to look very different from someone who is like, I want to do every device out there, every preventative thing possible. So that is how you get your skincare habits. So go ahead, make out a list and keep that list handy when you go in to see your dermatologist. Now, dermatology is a subspecialty of medicine, and we're not a huge field of medicine. And so I know sometimes it can feel like it's really hard to be seen by a dermatologist. And that is why I really encourage you to go ahead, make that appointment now, get something locked in for the first quarter of 2024, because as a new patient, it may take several weeks to months to be seen, especially if you're very particular on who you want to see. Once you have that appointment, it is much, much easier to then be seen as a follow-up. So say some rash pops up, it's driving you crazy, or you're having a rosacea outbreak or something's going on and you really need to be seen more urgently. Now that you've already established that relationship with your dermatologist, it's going to be much, much easier to be seen. I know in my practice, we offer same-day appointments for urgent things. That is never a problem. We are always happy to see someone who's a follow-up for an urgent issue. But unfortunately, we can't do necessarily a same-day appointment for a brand new patient. So again, locking in, establishing that relationship with the dermatologist is going to help you out, not just now in goal setting and habits. It's going to also help you out down the road when inevitably that skin condition or that worrisome lesion pops up and you really got to be seen ASAP and you can't wait eight to 10 weeks to get an appointment. So go ahead, establish that now. The other reason why seeing a board certified dermatologist, even before you think you need one, is a good idea is because when we are evaluating you and your concerns, we're also looking you over for anything worrisome. So perhaps you have a skin condition that you don't even know you have. Skin cancers frequently are picked up when someone comes in for something totally unrelated. And while I'm talking to my patient about something else, I might all of a sudden see something worrisome on their ear, or on their nose, or on their lip or face and say, well, that spot that you came in for looks okay, but I'm more concerned about this other thing right here. And then we end up diagnosing a skin cancer, which had they not come in, they didn't even know they had. So we're also evaluating you for more concerning things like skin cancers when you come in. And believe it or not, a lot of medical conditions have skin manifestations. So you may be pre-diabetic and not even know it, but when we look at you and we do a skin exam on you, there can be subtle findings that are concerning that might make us say, hey, make sure you reach out to your primary care doctor. This is what I'm seeing. And so sometimes as a dermatologist, I've been the one to diagnose internal medical problems that have been undiagnosed so far because the person otherwise seems healthy based on skin exam findings that I see. And they weren't even coming to see me for that. They were coming to see me for a skin cancer or something unrelated. And I just happened to notice something concerning and brought it to their attention. So again, this is why it's so critical to see a board certified dermatologist, because not only can we address the things that you are concerned about, we're also going to be looking and picking up things that maybe you didn't even know you had or weren't even aware of. Now, when you go to your dermatologist, make sure you have a very clear list of your medications, your dosage, your frequency, your vitamins. A lot of times people forget those. So just jot out a list of your medicines, put it in your phone or put it 
a Word document in your email. Just have a list of your medications, including supplements and over-the-counter things. Make sure you know what your allergies are. And then any medical issues that you've had, any surgeries, procedures, go ahead and just keep a file, keep a folder with all of that. Now, you might be young and healthy and you don't have anything, and that's fine. But as the years progress, things are going to start adding up. So it's nice to just sort of start a document because even if you're going in for something you think is totally unrelated to your other medical issues, you never know. And it's important for us as your dermatologist to have all that background information. So make sure your medical history, medicines, allergies are up to date. Go ahead and make sure your family history is up to date. Do you know what sort of conditions your parents have or siblings? And Of course, skin issues like melanoma and things like that are important, but we also need to know just about general medical issues that run within your family. When you go to your appointment, you can also have a list of your top, I would say, three to five concerns that you want to address on that visit. If you go in with your whole goals for the 2024 year, we're probably not going to be able to address each and every one of them thoroughly. So it's better to just focus on your top few at a visit and we can address the other ones down the road. But it's better to have those top concerns really delve into them and make sure we're covering them thoroughly rather than bringing in 10 concerns and we don't really have the time to address each and every one the way we want to. Also, when you come in for that appointment, make sure you are not wearing makeup because that makeup is going to cover your skin. It's going to be hard for us to really see what kind of skin you have, what kind of skin concerns, scarring, texture, your complexion, things like that, if it's covered in makeup. And it also makes it very, very difficult to detect early skin cancers. And of course, catching those early is so key. So please don't wear a lot of makeup or really any when you have that dermatology appointment so we can just really see your skin and really give you the best evaluation possible. Now, your appointment with your dermatologist may feel pretty quick and short, but make sure before it ends that you are clear on the instructions and what you need to do when you head home. If they've got written instructions or they can write it down for you, even better, or you jot it down, but make sure that you are clear on what you need to do. This happens so often. I know I do it to myself. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got it. I know what they're saying. And then I walk out, I get in the car and I'm like, wait, so what do I do? So repeat it back, whatever you need to do, jot it down. Make sure you know what you need to do when you go home to get those great results. And the thing with skincare, with really so many things, right? But we're talking about skincare now is consistency. Too often I see people start something, they do it a couple times and then they quit, they give up, they don't see the results immediately, instantaneously. And so they think it's not working and they stop. And then they just get on this cycle of trying something new, doing the same thing, doesn't work, try something new. So to get the best results, consistency is key. So make sure you're clear on what you're instructions are when you leave that appointment and really follow through with that. If you've got problems along the way, it's not working, you're having complications, reach back out to your dermatologist. We can't help you if we don't know there's an issue. So make sure you let us know if that cream is burning or you're developing a rash or it's not working. We want to know about it and we can either tweak things or make other recommendations. So be clear on your instructions, be consistent. And if things aren't going the way you thought they would or they should, make sure to reach back out to your dermatologist. Don't suffer in silence until your next appointment. I can't emphasize the importance of having a personalized one-on-one relationship with a dermatologist that you trust, that you click with, who aligns with the goals for your skin and their expertise aligns with what you are seeking. I really feel so strongly that this is really the key to getting beautiful, impactful, healthy skin for all your seasons of life, all the decades to come. And having that relationship is so important because things are going to change what 
is bothering you now and this year may be very different from next year or a few years later. And as you go through stages of life, different things occur. But having that established relationship with someone that you trust, who you feel like is on your side, your team, and really helping and rooting you along is so key. And it's really my hope for you listening that you can find a dermatologist like that for you and for your skin needs, because I think it will save you so much time, frustration, and money. All too often, we get our guidance from the internet, from social media, from people who maybe have a big audience, but don't necessarily have the education, the expertise to back it up. But it's hard not to listen to them. They have a lot of money or maybe they look amazing. And so we want to believe them and they're selling something that sounds too good to be true, but we just got to try it for ourselves. And that's where I find people are falling into the trap of taking advice from influencers and people who have different objectives than necessarily giving them really healthy skin. And they don't have the education to really provide that impactful skin advice. They maybe have a product that they're really good at marketing, but it's not necessarily what you need for your skin and for your skin goals. So my hope for you in 2024 is that you find a dermatologist who can be on your team, on your side, really rooting for you and helping you get the skin that you want, that you need, that you deserve for this new year. And so just remember, your dermatologist has your back, your face, your neck, your ears, your scalp, your nails. You got the idea, right? I cannot wait to hear what your skin goals are for 2024. If there are topics or things that you really want me to cover, I would love to know about that. And I hope you will share this episode and follow me and connect with me on social media and let me know what your goals are. Let me know what your concerns are and how I can provide valuable skin education to you in your home. I'll see you next week. That's all I've got for this week's episode of the Skin Real Podcast. But here's some great news. One of the most valuable things you can do to help me and other new potential listeners to find my show is for you to both rate this show and leave a review. So as a special bonus for you, if you leave me a review, take a screenshot and email it to info at theskinreel.com and I will send you a thank you free PDF on skincare truths versus hype because you know I love spreading the word of good, truthful skincare. And please be sure to share, share, share with your skin friends so that we can get the word out there about real skin. And until next time, remember, no matter where you are in your skincare journey, always remember to love the skin you're in because real skincare from real experts can be real simple.